Top 5 Disturbing Brain Glitches That Have Or Will Happen to You Have you ever felt your phone buzz when it didn't? Or heard a whisper in the dead of night when no one was there? Our brains and bodies play terrifying tricks on us all the time, and today, we're diving into creepy experiences almost everyone has. Whether it's losing track of time, seeing figures that aren't there, or hearing voices in silence, these moments are scarier than any horror movie, because they happen in real life. Let's explore five terrifying tricks your brain and body can play on you. Number 1. Sleep Paralysis Imagine this. Actually, most of you won't have to. You wake up in the middle of the night, but you can't move. Your legs, arms, and even your fingers refuse to respond. However, in most cases, the person afflicted can still move their eyes. This is a scary but common condition known as sleep paralysis. It's a horrifying experience where your brain wakes up before your body. It often happens just before or as you're waking up. While you're aware of your surroundings, you can't move a muscle. Though this usually lasts less than a minute, some people have reported being stuck in this state for multiple minutes. In rare but extreme cases, people report hallucinations seeing figures, feeling pressure on their chest, or hearing sounds that make it feel like they're not alone. Some see a dark, shadowy figure looming over them. In the most terrifying circumstances, people encounter a figure known as the Night Hag, or Old Hag. This malevolent being is reported to sit on your chest, or at the foot of your bed, the term nightmare was originally used to describe this phenomenon before it took on the modern meaning of just a bad dream. The worst part? When you try to scream for help, but nothing comes out but silence. Research suggests that around 8% of the population experience this. It's often linked to sleep disorders, stress, or sleep deprivation. The fear can be overwhelming making it one of the most terrifying experiences you can go through alone at night. Number 2. Human Autopilot Have you ever been driving on the highway, lost in thought, only to snap back to reality and realize you have driven miles without consciously remembering any of it? That's called Human Autopilot. This phenomenon occurs when your brain takes over routine tasks while your conscious mind drifts away. It's your mind's way of managing automatic processes, allowing you to focus on other thoughts. This can happen during familiar activities like driving, walking, or even watching TV, where your brain relies on muscle memory and learned patterns. While it's a handy feature for multitasking, it can also lead to terrifying moments. What if you don't notice an obstacle or a sudden stop ahead? Research shows that many people report experiences of autopilot during repetitive or long-duration tasks. It raises a chilling question. How much of our lives do we go through on autopilot without really being present? Number 3. Your Conscious and Unconscious Mind Did you know that we're essentially two people occupying one body? Your conscious mind navigates your day-to-day -day life, making decisions and interacting with the world. But beneath the surface lies your unconscious mind, which houses your instincts, memories, and hidden fears. This duality can lead to unsettling moments, particularly when your unconscious mind takes control. For example, certain medications like Ambien can lead to sleepwalking or performing complex tasks while you're technically still asleep. There are even reports of people cooking, shopping, or driving without any memory of the events when they wake up. In extreme cases, people have committed serious crimes like theft, breaking and entering, and even murder, without conscious awareness. Number 4. Exploding Head Syndrome Sometimes, as you're falling asleep, you might experience a startling, loud noise in your head. This phenomenon is called Exploding Head Syndrome, or EHS. It's a sleep parasomnia that involves hearing loud, imaginary noises during the transition from wakefulness to sleep or while waking up. The noise is often described as an explosive sound, like a gunshot or a bomb exploding, making it one of the most startling sensory experiences. Despite the scary name, exploding head syndrome isn't harmful and usually doesn't cause any long-term effects. However, it shows how delicate our brain and body's sleep-wake transition can be. These momentary illusions or sensory hallucinations illustrate that while sleep may appear peaceful, 
it's actually a time of high neural activity in complex brain states. This just goes to show the intricate and sometimes mysterious nature of our internal world. What might seem like a quiet, uneventful night can actually be a time of intense activity for our minds. And finally, number five, auditory pareidolia. Now, let's talk about something I've personally experienced. You know that strange moment when you hear a voice in the wind or music in the hum of an air conditioner? That's called auditory pareidolia. It's the brain's tendency to hear patterns or familiar sounds in random noise. This phenomenon can lead to eerie experiences, like thinking you hear someone whispering your name or picking up words in radio static. Your brain tries to attach meaning to random sounds, just like visual pareidolia, seeing faces or shapes where they shouldn't be, like in clouds or fabrics. Audio pareidolia happens when your brain tries to make sense of random sounds. It does this by turning them into something familiar, like a voice, whisper, or even unsettling music. This phenomenon is a survival instinct since our brains are wired to recognize patterns quickly. However, it can create some unnerving moments, especially when the sounds seem to carry messages or call your name. My personal story about this. First off, I was born with uh, hearing difficulties. I actually have 30% hearing loss. And because of that, my brain works overtime to compensate I'm also very open about being a phonophobic, meaning I have a fear of sudden loud sounds. I have like um, problems with my ears, like ever since I was a kid. I even have my hearing tested and shit, I have like 33% hearing loss. So what I have is called phonophobia, or, or there's like lycaniophobia or something like that. There's another weird name for it. But I say phonophobia, even though it's not technically correct. Playing horror games might have actually been a pretty poor choice to start my YouTube career on. Anyway, on to the story. I was home all alone. My wife and son were out of town visiting family in Iowa, and it was 3 a.m. I was coming up from the man cave to go to the bathroom before going to bed, and after washing my hands, I heard what sounded like a child talking on the other side of the bathroom door. I couldn't make out the words, just a, uh, a tone and cadence. Now, as a 36-year-old man, I stood there, scared to open my own bathroom door. I tried to rationalize it. Maybe it was a toy in my son's room, or maybe I left the TV on. It's 3 a.m. I'm tired. But I couldn't help but think like uh, Sherlock Holmes. Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. I knew that there couldn't be some unknown child beyond this door. Everything was locked up tight, yet as soon as I touched the doorknob, the muffled voice began singing. Yeah, you heard that right. Singing. It took me about a minute to work up the nerve to violently open my door, only to find a dark and empty house. Needless to say, I didn't sleep well that night. Later I learned about this thing called auditory pareidolia. What I was actually hearing was a mixture of the bathroom vent fan and my AC unit. The combination created a weird sound, a certain frequency, that my brain tried to fill the gaps in with something familiar. Why it chose a child singing and talking still disturbs me. But uh, in that moment, it was the most horrifying thing I could think of. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Take care. Have a good weekend, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.